be something for the cheese and make a few friends as a breeze through. Don't you know it's two in the morning and our party's still jumping? Cause my mama ain't home home. I got bitches in the living room getting it home and they ain't leaving till six in the morning. So what you want? Today to protest against what they call an anti-white bias. The leader of the Heritage Front said his group wasn't looking for trouble, but police and school officials feared they might try to recruit impressionable teens into their ranks. Tonda McCharles is standing by now with more. Tonda. Paul, Dumbarton High School in Pickering is uh, like many other suburban schools. There's a broad ethnic mix and occasionally racial tensions do arise. Half an hour before the morning bell, members of the Heritage Front arrived. They're a self-proclaimed white supremacist group, and today they came bearing pamphlets and self-righteous indignation. They were met by Durham Regional Police. We do not want any kind of a disturbance. Okay, Ruth Gangdroga is the leader of the Heritage Front and an ex-mercenary. Today, he says he's protesting what he calls an anti-white bias at Dunbarton High. What we want is we want equal rights for all, special privileges for none. And what is happening is blacks, obviously, if they're allowed to wear their Malcolm X t-shirts, then they're getting special privileges if white kids are not allowed to wear their own ins insignias of which they're proud of. Droga's foot soldiers handed out pamphlets and preached a white pride line. You have your own rights in this country. You represent your own rights as, as a majority in this country. And the message struck a chord with some. If you're walking down the hall and somebody calls you white trash, if you turn around and call them a nigger, you're you automatically suspended. suspended. But the person that called you white trash isn't. Okay, calling people nigger and stuff, that ain't, that ain't <coughs> right. You know what I mean? That's, that's long time ago business. That shouldn't be happening. Yeah. Well, there's always a tension. I mean, uh, you might not hear about it. No one says it, but it's there and you know it. I think people take things too seriously. They just use their color, their culture as an excuse. People use our color as a reason to hate. And that's not right. That's not a reason at all. People under Barton get suspended for wearing, like, shoelaces and stuff that they agree with. And then the black people in our school can wear Malcolm X and they don't get in trouble at all. Most students simply were not buying the white supremacist line. This thing that whites are discriminated against at this school, is that the case? Oh, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. No. School officials say a handful of Dunbarton students, both black and white, have been suspended this year for racist remarks and offensive dress, such as t-shirts that advocate white power or black power. I can't control what people think. I can only attempt to control uh, how they behave. And uh, so long as uh, they can think what they like, so long as that's not reflected in their behavior. Money on my mind. Rolling eyes straight, smoking and all, sipping on gin and 